Hello everyone! So I am trying to do this thing with Korean and French where I'm gonna vlog more and like go through the process more than just kind of show up in <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I officially am going to start Korean and French as languages on the first. So I'm gonna start learning them actively, but I decided to get a head start on Korean and start learning the alphabet, Hangul. Um, so it's the 22nd right now. I started yesterday night um, and I was gonna show you my notes because basically I am trying to do this thing and I'm trying to avoid romanization. And if you don't know what romanization is, it is using the English alphabet to kind of work out Korean basically, which doesn't work and I've heard from many, many different people who have learned Korean that that's a really bad way of learning. So I'm trying to avoid it and I'll show you the ways I'm trying to avoid it. So ignore my messy desk. <laughs> my desk is really messy. But I wrote down the whole alphabet and obviously I romanized just so that I can remember what it means. Uh, so don't count me off on that. So we have the compound vowels, the regular vowels, regular um, consonants, double consonants, uh, strong consonants, diphthong. Um, and I used the video Learn Hangul in 90 minutes, so it was definitely an information overload, but I think I got it all. Um, I have the types of stacking. So the six types of stacking for vowels and consonants, um, how they go together, the sound change rules, which actually I have not paid attention to yet, honestly, but it's day two, so don't kill me. Um, here are like what the alphabet sounds like. The base continent, uh, consonant, sorry. Um, and then again, more sound change rules. So this is like my first page of like official practice. So basic Hangul. So I have hello slash good morning, onion kwaseyo. So I romanized that because I saw someone do an example where they wrote it like this and I found that really cool. Um, so chonun sugovia mida. Hello, my name is Sugovia. And then oshumika. Oshimika, which is how are you? So basically what I did is I took these words and I wrote them down and I broke down the vowels, the hard slash double vowels, and the consonants. And then I also worked on the stacking order. So I took each syllable and I broke down the stacking order so I could understand that more in my mind and that really, really helped. So really I haven't romanized um, much um, but I'm still just trying to remember where all the letters go, but I wanted to show you kind of the idea of what I was getting at. Hey everyone, it's really late at night. It's almost ooh, 1 a.m. And I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> um, but I just learned how to type in Korean on my phone. I didn't know, and I didn't think it was going to be that difficult. But it's not, and if you're trying to learn how to type in Korean on your phone, you type in the top letters and then the bottom. No one told me. I just made a couple of quizlets. I think I made three. I made one with like basic romanization um, so that my brain can start making that connection and I can kind of leave romanization behind. Because once I start remembering this is what the sound this letter makes and that letter makes, then I can just start reading but I want that to be fully solidified in my brain before I like take the next step in like reading and like kind of leaving romanization. But again, we are like two days in, well I guess three days in. But yeah, we'll see how this goes on this romanization journey. Good night guys. Hey everyone, so I am, it's about day, I don't even know. It's. Tuesday. I forgot what day it was for a second. It's Tuesday and um, I was going to show you the progress I made in Korean and again I just wanted to like I was re-watching the footage and I just want to make this completely clear. You cannot learn Korean without some bit of romanization but my goal is that under my Korean Hangul I don't want to be writing the English out um, and I'll show you an example of that. So like this this is the book Talk to Me in Korean. And do you see right here uh, where it says this book is good? See how it's written out? And like, that's what I don't wanna do basically. So my goal is basically not to write Korean like this, but I'd rather, but I'd rather mess up and like mess up the pronunciation and then hear it correctly than have to write it down. Because like for there, that doesn't really look accurate to me. 
You know what I mean? Like, I would look at that and be like, oh, I'm confused. And every time I'd look back at my notes, I would look for this as a crutch. And basically the whole goal is just not to look at romanization as a crutch, but more like a necessary evil for the beginning than like carrying all throughout like me learning Korean and having to like write what it's broken down as in English underneath every single word. So that's the goal. So as for today, um, I found this online uh, and I like kind of edited it a little bit for like words that I'd use and stuff. So it's just a bunch of basic Korean sayings and just like really helpful things. And I found it online, so I'll link that as well. It has more words than I printed out. Like there's five pages, I got it onto three. And basically what I'm doing is I'm writing it out like I was before and I'm separating again consonants and vowels so then I can continue practicing with the writing style. And then I just did the basic greetings. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. My name is Segovia. I missed the E in name. Wow, embarrassing. And then I'm from America. So I did like very basic things. Um, I highlighted where the like proper nouns are so then I could remember that. And yeah, so it's not, anything big but I actually have the correct audios for these and I can read them off of my phone so like if I kind of work it out and then I kind of compare it to the audio and see what I read wrong or like what I got confused or what emphasis is on what word so that's been helping a whole lot